Hello my kindergarten friends and welcome back to A Quilt in a Book. Today I have another big book that is called What is Science? It's a beautiful big book written by Rebecca Kai Doklik and illustrated by Sachiko Yoshikawa. I hope you enjoy it. What is science? You'll see in the table of contents the main story is actually written in poetry. And at the end, there's a biography about Benjamin Franklin. What is science? So many things. The study of stars and Saturn's rings. The study of rocks geodes and stones. Geodes are beautiful rocks that have crystals on the inside. The study of rocks and geodes and stones, dinosaur fossils, and old chipped bones. The study of soil and oil and gas. of sea and sky and seed and grass. Of wind and hurricanes that blow. Volcanoes, tornadoes, earthquakes and snow. What is science? The study of trees. Oh, I wish I was up in that tree with them. Of butterflies and honeybees. Glaciers, geysers, clay, and sand. Mighty mountains and rolling land. The power of trains, of planes that soar. Science is this and so much more. So into the earth and into the sky, we question the how, the where, when, and why. We question, we wonder, we hunt and explore the secret of caves, the dark ocean floor, the oldest of rivers, the tombs of kings. And there they have a picture of the tombs and pyramids in Egypt. What is science? So many things. Benjamin Franklin Inventor by Linda Ruggieri. Benjamin Franklin lived long ago. He helped start our country. He was also an inventor. An inventor is someone who makes new things. Benjamin invented swim fins when he was a boy. He put them on his hands to help him swim fast. Today, we still use swim fins. Benjamin invented the first lending library. People could now borrow books instead of buying them. Today, we use libraries. Benjamin invented a stove that burned wood. That is how people kept warm back then. Today, we use wood stoves. Benjamin invented the lightning rod. It kept homes safe from lightning. Today, we use lightning rods. Benjamin invented glasses called bifocals. They helped people see close up and far away. Today we use bifocals. 
Benjamin Franklin was a great man. We still use his wonderful inventions today. If you enjoyed this book, What is Science? And you like asking questions, you just might grow up to be a scientist or an inventor. I hope you keep studying and asking questions. And keep reading. I'll see you soon on A Quilt in a Book. Bye.